Most pro players use the exact same meta defenses with the exact same setups. The meta has changed over the years, but right now it's definitely the 4-3 even 6-1 or the dollar defense. In fact, the dollar defense is so broken that EA changed and broke the entire game's fatigue system just to try to nerf it. And predictably, that's what everyone was using once again in the Madden Championship Series this past weekend during the Pro Bowl, except for one guy, Henry who is widely considered to be the best Madden player in the world and has over $800,000 in career earnings. And he surprised everyone with a brand new shutdown defense that nobody knew about. So if you guys want to see what brand new defense Henry used to get to the $1 million Madden Challenge Championship game, stick around after the intro. For the fastest, cheapest, and most reliable coins in the market with a no band guarantee delivery, check out my coin sponsor, MOXP.com, and use discount code MONEYSHOT for 5% off your order. Link in the description below. Welcome back, Money Team. This is Mad Money Shot. Sniffing of the Mad Cheese, as always. Well, I guess great minds think alike because it turned out this past weekend that Henry, who might be the best Madden player in the world or the best defensive player in the world, take your pick, is actually using the exact same formation that I've been calling the meta for several months out of the nickel 3-3 odd. This is a pretty rare formation. I use it out of the Raiders playbook, and I'm currently using it out of a custom playbook, but it's only in a couple of uh, couple of different formations. I have a lot of people actually in my comment section saying they came and find it when they look for it in the Raiders or when they look for it to add to their custom playbook so i'll try to have it pop up on the screen what playbooks you can use but i definitely recommend the raiders because like i said that's my favorite playbook this year on defense if you guys want more breakdowns of defenses just like this because like i said i put out this video first about two months ago and i've had this in my ebooks for just as long so if you guys want to check out the raiders for more plays more blitzes more schemes especially from this particular defense i'll have links in the description and in the top hand comment you just click the links you can download my ebooks instantly I typically try to stay away from meta defense but this particular meta defense I put out a long time ago, so I'm not staying away from it. I know how good this defense is. I've been trying to get you guys on how good this defense is, and now the best player in the world is using it. So I'm going to show you guys his setup. If you watch this channel a lot, I'm going to repeat a lot of information because, like I said, I've been on this defense for a long time, and I've broken it down in multiple videos, and I still have more defensive videos planned. This is probably the defense I'm going to use straight until the end of Madden 24 because that's how versatile it is and that's how good it is. One of the best things about the versatility of this particular defense, and like I said, if you watch my videos, you've heard me say this, is you can put your best coverage linebacker here, which I use a lot in coverage, or you can put safeties at these linebacker spots, which is going to basically give you, um, you know, a lot of options as far as what you can do. If your opponent is running the ball a lot with the new fatigue system the way that it is, you're going to probably want to leave linebackers in here. Uh, but if they're passing a lot, you can easily swap out both these linebackers for safeties, giving you much better pass defense, which is what I'm guessing that he was doing because that's what a lot of Mutt players like to do, like to have safeties all over the field. So one of the first things you want to do, and this is something that I put out in a video just yesterday talking about from the uh, best coaching adjustments that I put out, I said one of the best things to do now is to have your auto flip off. So now that I have auto flip off, all I'm really going to do to make this play work or to make this blitz work is flip the play pre-snap. I don't know what it is about flipping the play. This is something that I never tried. Out of all the setups that I've been doing in this defense, he definitely figured that out faster than me and accelerated the learning curve on this defense because that's definitely something I'm going to start doing more often. I was flipping the play because I wanted the outside linebacker to be the open side of the field. He's flipping it because for some reason it gets incredible pressure when you do. So he flips the play. And then he was basically running a lot of cover three. I don't know exactly what cover three he was running, whether it was the three, the cover three sky, but I'm going to guess it was probably the cover three seam. The best part about this, this is going to be a universal setup. You can use either the cover three seam, the cover six, which is also a matching defense. Uh, basically any defense you see that has that line, the, the lineman and the linebacker looking the way that it does in these particular setups, like the Tampa two has that, where it's the exact same spacing, where, they, where the defensive line's acting the same way. Uh, the cover one robber, not so much. I'm, I'm guessing there probably is a setup, but you can see the defensive line is shifting the same way. The cover three sky also has it. The cover three cloud also has it. And then on offense, I'm just going to pick uh, a random play from the double Z's close. I'm just going to go random. Now, the setup for this is really simple. Once you flip the play like I did, the next step is hit the R1 or the RB button, the right bumper button, and then down on the right stick to pinch the entire defense. Whatever that does, it changes the uh, alignment to the point where it's just perfect for the splits. After that, though, and like I said, I don't know exactly how Henry did it. This is not my setup. This is Henry's setup, or as close as I can come to it. But I can get the same results. So after that, I find it's best to base align, which is going to be wide triangle, and then left on the, I'm sorry, then right on the left stick. And that's going to back your coverage cornerbacks off and your safeties off, because you don't really want them uh, up pressing against like really
really fast receiver. So that's how I would run it. Like I said, I don't know how Henry runs it. This is not my play. This is something that, you know, he came up with. I'm just going to show you guys the setup. Now, after that, you just have to blitz this linebacker here. One of the two linebackers. It doesn't really matter. And then you have to line him up behind the nose tackle. Now, you have to do it in a way that the arrow is pointing to the left of the nose tackle. And that's because the guard on the right is supposed to block him. So him having that arrow pointing on the left will have him just go right around and the guard won't be able to pick him up. Now, after that, you also just, he was just taking his, his guy back here so that he doesn't get in the way of anything. I think that if he was down here anywhere, that he might mess up the uh, the way that the blocking is designed. That's why he was starting every play lined up right behind the middle linebacker. And that's pretty much the play. That's all he really does. It's not much of a setup at all. The hardest part is probably manually moving the linebacker into place. Now, after that, I would say it makes sense to guess pass because if it's like a play action, I don't know what play this is, but if it's like a play action, um, the running back, uh, you know, if you guess pass, the, the guy's going to go straight for the quarterback. He's not going to bite on the play action fake or nothing like that. Sometimes they'll even go as far as to tackle the running back on a play action fake. You don't want that. So if you know he's going to pass, guess pass. And this is pretty much it. As you're going to see, this guy here just loops around. It was actually a run play. As you can see, you get pretty good run defense, even though it wasn't necessarily uh, a pass play. We're going to do that again. Like I said, the setup's super easy. You just have to get this guy in place here. And then you just, you know, basically that's it. It takes half a second. I didn't get his pass yet. But, uh, but yeah, that's pretty much the play. Hopefully he'll loop around. You can see right there, get that looping animation right through the A-gap. And it's a very good defense, run or pass. If I go to the replay, you can slow this down. You can see why this play works. Once again, that guard, 51, Jurgens, he's supposed to pick him up, but he can't get around Kelsey. And Kelsey can't really slide over because if he does, Fletcher Cox is going to get right through the A-gap. So that's why he has to take Fletcher Cox and why this play works because Jurgens can't get around. And you can see how this is just a very consistent looping pressure. And one of the geniuses of this setup is, like I said, it's universal as far as coverage. Whether you want to use the cover three that I showed, you want to use the cover three sky, which is a very good defense to cover through cloud it really doesn't matter and the setup's going to be the exact same there might be a little bit more of a step here as i don't think it really matters which linebacker actually you, you use or which one gets the pressure but he just has to be he just has to be uh angling on the left of kelsey and you're going to see how we're going to have the exact same look one more time where he loops in we actually got a quick throw out uh but yeah we didn't get an opportunity there let's go and let's do that again like i said uh i guess uh you know, Hertz sees it coming a mile away. But here we go one more time. Like I said, I'm just gonna, you know, it's not a very lengthy setup at all. It took a half a second and the pressure takes a half a second as well. So it's a very good defense. Like I said, doesn't matter which one of those coverages you use, just as long as it looks the exact same way. So like I said, I have an entire scheme breaking down a lot of different plays from this formation. So that's, that's the video. If you guys wanna see more videos like this, as always, please make sure to be a subscriber, hit the like button, let me know in the comment section. And that's it, thanks for watching, man, my shit out. Need more help or just wanna show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like eBooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.